Angela Puckett is called for. That, that's what it is. Carl brings the money now. Carl's the money man in this division. And also, Carl's have proven. Two more champions have since Ward. IBF and WBA titles now. Brings a lot to the table. How, <laughs> how would Eddie Hearn been you promote your own fights in years gone by? How, how would Eddie Hearn, how much would it cost to bring? Um, I think they'd over? probably do a, a certain percent split. You know, I think it's, it's, it's a 50-50, if, if you ask me. Although, Ward has been. Carl is coming to the book, coming to the table with two belts. So, would you say? Would you yeah, say to that? The, also, the, the, Carl's the one who's going to be selling the tickets. What, um, Ward, I believe, is a huge ticket seller. Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen him pack out arenas like this in his hometown. I, I think Carl knows that as well. When Ward, if he's a businessman, Ward will say, well, yeah. maybe he's right. You've got to shout it loud. Ward knows he's a, a class fighter, but you know what? Stamp your authority. Come up here. Fight Carl Frotch. Let's and fight. Yo, what up, YouTube? What up, boxing fans? You just heard just a clip of how biased these UK fucking commentators are uh, towards Carl Frotch and their favoritism. It's clear they want to see Frotch only fight in the UK. That's because, why? Because Frotch is undefeated in the UK. Obviously with hometown advantage, it's a lot easier to win. You know, you can ask Lamont Peterson, who did beat Amir Khan in a very close fight. Um, Devin Alexander has had hometown, quote-unquote hometown decisions. Or, you know, he's basically gotten the edge in a very close fight. You know, that's that's the way it is. Even in some cases, uh, upsets do happen in the hometown, but that's when you clearly dominate the opposition. And in a close fight, generally, it goes to the hometown fighter. In this case, I believe these UK commentators believe Carl Froch is good enough to have a close fight with Andre Ward and steal a decision. I believe that's why. Based on his activity, because you look, he does throw a lot of punches for a super middleweight. He might be able to out-volume Andre Ward. I think that's their line of thinking. But what they don't understand is he's so wide open defensively, it doesn't matter where he fights Andre Ward, he gets his ass whooped. C can you believe Kessler landed 55% of his power punches? Carl Froch is wide open for an ass whooping, uh, the way he fights defensively, and the way he throws his punches. He basically leaves himself open, and against a quicker, slicker, more defensive fighter. Even a Bernard Hopkins, I think, gives Carl Froch all he can handle. And mark my words on that, if Carl Froch wants to test uh, the light heavyweight waters. He doesn't have a chance against Andre Ward, and... You know, these commentators can say what they want. They can say Carl Froch is the money man. You know what? Hey, yeah, UK supports their fighters. If, if you're going to build a fighter up in the UK, that's a great way to build him up. Right? Look at Amir Khan. He, you could call him a money man too, but you bring him to the US and, and he doesn't sell tickets because all his fans are stuck in the UK, right? Um, you know, it is what it is. Either way, if Carl Froch fights Andre Ward, it's a big money fight. Both uh, on both sides of the equation, they're both great fighters, and it would sell. And the UK fans have shown to be pretty loyal. And you know what? I, I'm just I'm tired of bullshit. I'm just tired of it. You know, like he's been beaten as decisively as anyone can beat an other fighter. And that was, and on top of that, Andre Ward had a had a wounded hand. Self-admittedly, he had a broken hand going into that fight. He still whoops his ass, and you couldn't even tell. You just couldn't even tell. It was a brilliant performance by Andre Ward. And, and, and now, these you guys are demanding a rematch in the UK. It's ridiculous. Like, it's like he's wronged, you know, their special fighter, and, you know, he's got to make amends somehow. <laughs> it's, just, it's insane. Um, the other argument is... You know, Carl Froch has two titles. Uh, he's he's got more momen momentum, and um, you know he's got two titles. But it doesn't matter how many titles you you throw into the equation. Andre Ward's the best super middleweight bar none, and it, even if he takes those two titles, he's got to vacate them anyways because you can't have more than two, you can't have more than one title. The way some of these sanctioning bodies operate, you know, you can't defend both belts. Like it's it's silly. But uh, Carl Froch ain't shit. He's a great fighter. I'll say he's a great fighter. But he ain't shit compared to Andre Ward. 
and you know these these UK ass commentators, man, I understand they're repping for home team, but you know don't don't act like you you don't know what what would happen if, if if these two guys stepped in the ring, it'd be the same shit all over again, and you know sometimes what when you get what what you beg for and, and you don't actually you know you're in the mind state where where you know you can really get checked and you don't realize it and then you get checked it feels even worse i swear if andre ward goes in there and whoops carl frotch's ass it would be even sweeter for him and he would shut everybody up so i wouldn't mind seeing it but i would hate to see him get robbed and and, and for that instance i'd rather see carl frotch get his ass whooped in the u.s but he doesn't want it so uh I'll end it off with Andre Ward. He wants to he wants to talk with Eddie Hearn. He wants to make the fight happen, and you could tell because of the he's he's just genuine the way he speaks. So I'm gonna end it off with Andre Ward. It is what it is, guys. Peace out. Take care. Whether there was injustice or not, I think most of us felt you won it clearly. However, he wants it in Britain. Will you come? I don't know how bad he wants it. You know, it's a lot of talk about what he wants and where he wants it. First and foremost, America is where you got to come to become a star. You can be a great domestic fighter, but if you want to be a worldwide fighter, you gotta you gotta stake your claim there. But he's done the super listen, six. To be fair to him, he has been out. Listen, but his but his record is four and two on the road, and he's undefeated here. So I know why he wants to be here. And contrary to what people believe, he didn't come to my hometown. That was a road trip for me to Atlantic City. I'm I'm from the West Coast. That's a five hour plane ride. But that being said, if Eddie Hearn and if Carl Frost really wants it, I'll tell you what I told you guys last time. Eddie, pick up the phone, call my manager, and let's talk about it. The UK is not out of the question. I don't have to come here. It's not out of the question. We may do it in the U.S., but pick up the phone and let's talk about it if you're serious, or else just stop bringing my name up.